hockey puck, brother. Folks, listen, there's one thing I know in this life, that is that I love food. We do this every food video. But today is no different. The last time we did a Gordon Ramsay cooking challenge, you guys absolutely loved it. We did the steak sandwiches. It was super successful. How do people do this? So we're back again with one of the most viewed Gordon Ramsay videos of all time. It's something like 60 something million views, I think. His perfect burger. You can see laid out here. We have all the different ingredients we need. I'm gonna crush this. Let me give you my history of cooking burgers. There it is. I've never cooked a burger in my life. That's how I feel about lettuce. Trash. But Gordon Ramsay says put it in the burger. Oh. You know, as a chef of my caliber, you need to know how to approach your workstation. And it's important to always have a clean kitchen. I know, I'm sure Tim, Tim, you're probably watching this, you fat sack of shit. You watch all my food videos. I know you don't ever cook for yourself. You're too rich. You pay people to cook for you. But you want to have a clean kitchen. My meat, meat's gonna come in later. I want to come on the meat last, okay? Sorry. I want the meat to get cummed on last. <laughs> <laughs> onion. Did you get the right onions? Yes, I got the right onions. White onions? Yes. They are white in the video. It's fucked up. If you don't like the video, you're gonna be this tomato. How much should I use Gordon Ramsay's help on the steak video? Pretty often? I think literally every step. Okay. That looks kind of fucked. What have you done? Fuck yeah! Remember what I said about, if you don't like the video, you'll be the tomato? <laughs> <laughs> People look at this and are like, yum. They look at this and they're like, mmm, can't wait to put that on my burger. Fucking psychopaths. The onion. And today, I'm gonna teach you the science behind how you can cut onions without crying. So this first onion's been stored in the fridge for a few hours. And the idea is that the- I'm so fucked. Oh yeah. You feel it? Already, yeah. You feel it? <laughs> Yeah. No shot, right? No, I swear. Oh! Yeah. Fuck! It just got under your glasses, huh? Fuck. No, you're stronger than the onion. It's a fucking onion. You know what? Show the onion. Look. Look at this onion. You make me cry? You make me cry? Can you stop throwing all the freaking ingredients, dude? That's fine! That's a cut to be proud of. That really is a cut to be proud of. So. Oh my god! Fuck! Just don't even look in the sink, you'll get mad. Just don't, don't even look in the sink, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make the most amazing burger. All right, Warren. And for me, the secret of burger is in the blend. So we've got Chuck, we've got the most amazing ground beef, a little bit of brisket. I'm washing my hands before, after, and during touching raw meat. If you're gonna touch my raw meat, you better wash your hands. How the fuck do I form a patty? Do I have to touch it with my hands? Yes. No. But how did he form a perfect patty? With 30 plus years of experience. The fuck, you keep using that line. Oh, this Ew. is so disgusting. This is the nastiest thing I've ever done in my life. I don't use my hands on things very often. I play video games for a living. Let me actually add some meat on the sides. See, I'm filling it in, I'm like gluing it back together. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's a technique only a few chefs know. And Gordon wouldn't know about it. Gordon, if you somehow see this video, man, I just want you to know I'm a big fan. First things first, season it. Fuck. I'm so nervous, man. And I'm totally winging like how much meat that even just was. Like I don't even know if these patties are about to be even remotely the same, which kind of scares me. Oh no. It always happens in these food videos, where I start to get just way too into it, and that's mm -hmm. happening right now. This patty's massive. I made a massive patty. You know what? Screw it. We're making it a thick boy. A thick boy. There we go. One side on. One side on. Roll the seasoning around the edge of the burger. Roll it in that seasoning. Roll it. Oh, that's seasoned. You can't season the burger after it's cooked, so make sure you roll. That's some seasoned beef right there. And mop up all that seasoning. My girlfriend picks a Big Mac over my burger. I might break up with her in this video. Now, let the meat relax a little bit. These are big fucking burgers, but Gordon's burgers were huge. These are fucking huge patties. I don't even know how to tell when a burger's cooked. I'm so fucked, man. I gave my friends food poisoning. <laughs> 
gently all the burgers and then on. Find the hottest spot. Okay, he said find the hottest part of the grill. Right there. Ooh, wow. Now from there, lid down. <laughs> yeah, that's just, wait, lid down. Lid down. The secret is to move it as less as possible. Wow, it loses its heat so fast. That incorporates the heat, gets a great sear on the bottom, so when we come to turn those burgers, they don't stick. And now we wait. like a dad. Yeah, I was like. Now, alongside my burger, I'm gonna be toasting the buns. Getting a little bit on each. This is chef tactics. This is, this is if you went to years of culinary school and learned, but I just know it instinctively. Look at this, the brush. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're in for a treat today, Vega boy. I say it's good. We are in for a treat today. A little drizzle of oil and lightly toast those buns. Is that too much? Grilled onions. Lightly season them. Salt, pepper. Onions on. In. Toast those buns. And close. We're losing a lot of heat. Losing a lot of heat. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm really doing this shit right now, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I need to go get the thing inside. You don't want to be Gordon Jack. You want to be better. You want to be your own master chef. And today, on youtube.com slash courage JD, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove that I'm better than Gordon Ramsay. That I'm better than any other chef in Los Angeles. I have what it takes. Ninja shoes. Medium-sized calves. Flat ass, a big gut, and a receding hairline. I can do this! <laughs> oh no. That's Sir, a boy. hockey puck, brother. I'll never cook like Gordon. I'm a firm believer in toasting both sides of my bun. Top and bottom. Oh, I gotta go fast, I gotta go fast, I gotta go fast, I gotta go fast. Oh no, 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 no. Look at that bun. Beautiful. Down. <laughs> wow, that actually looks really good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, yeah, really it does. Turn these photos of YouTube over. Wow. The flame is the flavor. I'm losing composure. I'm losing composure. I'm losing composure. It's so hard, bro. I'm losing the fuck out of the way. A busy grill is a delicious grill. There's onions everywhere. If you're a grill man, you're way better than me at being a man. I need stress eat. 30 seconds before those burgers come off, I'm gonna put my nice, beautiful, rich cheddar cheese on top. I think you did it! A little touch of mayonnaise. It's not even enjoyable. It's a light mustard mayonnaise. This stuff is very strong, so only a little bit. From there, Take your lettuce. Actually, the bed, the bed should be the lettuce. And form the lettuce, the same shape of your bun. Are those two tops? Shh. <laughs> Shh. From there, a nice slice of tomato. <laughs> Look at this. That's looking pretty good, bro. Slice, 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 slice. So if you can't manage a whole one, Take half of one, and then look. Let's see it. Solid, solid. Really proud of that. Trust me, that is a burger to die for. Bon appetit. Baby, welcome. Today we have two burgers for you to try. One is homemade, the other from a famous burger location. Uh, please start with whichever one you'd like. You have two plates in front of you. And you have to tell me which one's the best and what you like about it. Okay, she started with the burger. Say this one's homemade. He's lifting up a burger. Definitely the homemade one. Girl. Yeah. Her response is yeah. This is definitely the homemade one. Two bites, huh? Okay, we're gonna keep that in mind.
This one doesn't even taste like there's meat. You've, you've tried them both. You don't need any more if you don't want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, you're going back into the other one? Yeah. Alright, so which one wins? That one? Well, so this is the homemade one. That's like... Well, you don't know that for sure. Processed crap, so I guess we'll put it. And it... If you, pretend it's not made by me. Pretend it was made by Gordon Ramsay. What would you rate the burger? Compared to like the best burger I've ever had in my life. Like a... 6.5. 7. 7? 7 out of 10?! That's a passing grade, baby! Go ahead, lift your blindfold. 65 might not be, though. 70 is. We're, we're, we've always round up in this. Baby, look at the beauty of this burger. It does. It looks... It looks... Look at the char. Look at the... Look at the char-grilled onions. Say you overcooked it, for sure. No. No. You overcooked the burger. He knows I like medium rare. That is almost medium well. And did Gordon Ramsay want cooked onions or mm -hmm. caramelized onions? Slightly caramelized. I don't know if these would be... Okay, Judd! Those are just cut. They're not caramelized at all. Oh my god! No! Folks! I mean, I'm proud of you for cooking something. Would you say this is successful? Yeah, I would eat this. I'd like a barbecue or something. Yes! Oh, folks! We've done it again! Rain for you! I was craving a burger. This is not what I would eat, though. You what? I was craving a burger. This would not be what I eat, though. Move out of the house. Folks, the burger beats out the Big Mac. The most famous burger in the world. My burger's better. Give me the next Gordon Ramsay challenge you guys would like. Thank you all for the love. $10 versus thousand dollar burger challenge. I win. Let's make a thousand dollar burger. That actually be really fun. Okay, if this video gets enough likes, maybe we'll buy the ingredients for a real thousand dollar burger. That would be so fun. This was a thousand dollar burger years. because we got the tips from Gordon Ramsay. Okay, well I want to make an actual thousand dollar burger with like A5 Wagyu. We could put gold flakes on it. Who the fuck's paying for it? You. Uh, everyone, please like this video so I can make an actual thousand dollar burger. I promise the onions will actually be caramelized. All right, go to your thing. Go to your thing. It won't be overcooked. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love these cooking videos. They're such a blast. Uh, please be sure to leave a like on this. Comment down below if you enjoyed. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.